It was over that wild beaten track, was said a friend of Bonaparte did pace the sands and lofty rocks of St. Helena's shore. And the wind it blew a hurricane, the lightning fierce around it dot. The seagulls were a shrieking and the waves around it roar. A hush rune winds a stranger cried while I ranged the spot where upon this gallant hero did his weary eyelids close. And although at peace his limbs may rest, his name will never be forgot. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, alas, he cried, why England did you persecute that hero bold? For better had you slain him on the plains of Waterloo. For Napoleon, he was a friend to heroes, all both young and old. He caused the money for to fly wherever he did go. When plans were forming night and day, the bold commander to betray, he said, I'll conquer Moscow, and there I'll ease my woes. And if fortune smiles on me that day, then all the world shall me obey. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, his men in thousands then did rise to conquer Moscow by surprise. He led his troops across the Alps, oppressed by frost and snow. And being near the Russian land, he then began to open his eyes, for Moscow was a blazing, and the men drove to and fro. Napoleon dauntless viewed the plain, and then in anguish at the same, he cried, retreat me gallant men, for time so swiftly goes. What thousands dried in that retreat, some forced their horses for to eat. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. At Waterloo they bravely fought, commanded by this Bonaparte. Field a marshal may did him betray, but he was bribed by gold. And when Belusha led the Prussians in, it nearly broke Napoleon's heart. He cried, me thirty thousand men are lost, and I am sold. He viewed the plain and cried, all's lost, was then his favourite charge across. The plain was in confusion with blood and dying woes. And a bunch of roses did advance and boldly entered into France. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, his Bonaparte was planned to be a prisoner across the sea. The rocks of St. Helena, oh, it was his final spot. And as a prisoner there to be till death did end his misery, his son soon followed to the tomb. It was an awful plot. And long enough have they been dead, the blast of war around us spread, and may our shipping float again to face the daring foes. And now, my boys, when on a calls, we'll boldly mount those wooden walls. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose.